Sis, you, you signed up to be a leader and you find yourself doing nothing like what you thought you'd be doing. You're maybe babysitting or you're finding yourself confused a lot about what people do. And maybe you find your inner voice being, what the actual F? If that's you, I'm about to give you 10 reasons why, frankly, you're not alone. I'm Daryl Black, and I take 30 plus years in crisis leadership, things like Katrina and Canada's two largest disasters, and a decade in corporate project management. And I take those lessons I learned there and help leaders make a bigger impact, both personally and professionally. Obviously, this is a tongue in cheek look at leadership, but I know that for me, when I started my journey, I actually didn't think that it'd be anything like it actually turned out to be. So one of the ways that I've realized or found that being a leader can suck is meetings. Oh my gosh, meetings. I actually joke or not even joke with folks that I'm not a leader. I'm not a anything except a professional meeting -er. Yeah, I go to meetings all day. That's what I do. First thing in the morning, I can log on into Zoom when I was on projects or when I am on projects or MS Teams. I attend a meeting and then guess what I do? I attend another meeting and then another meeting. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm wondering like, when is the actual work day? When can I actually do the things I'm supposed to do that comes out of those meetings? So that's number one, the meetings. Number two, more responsibility without the compensation and a little bit of a trigger alert acting, right? I get it. I get it. You know, you're just constantly, you're trying to do better. You're, you're a high performer. You're doing more, but man, oh man, it doesn't pay sometimes because all you do is just get more work and really the amount of work you get and you'll get a bump in pay, particularly if you're acting. Oh my gosh, hopefully you get a bump in pay, but then acting becomes permanent, but it stays acting. I get it. I get it. So that's the second reason that leadership can really suck. Number three, you can rarely, if ever, say what you're actually thinking about somebody or about a situation. Yeah, I know. I know. That's a big burden, especially for a lot of us that are sarcastic and really realize that common sense isn't so common. Number four, much like number three, you have to be extremely careful what you say and how you say it. Things like we will be become gospel, right? It, it becomes a commitment. So you have to be very, very aware of the language that you use so as to not be offensive, totally legit, or to give the wrong impression or to tell somebody that you're going in a direction that really isn't accurate or that whatever you have been saying is portrayed as truth and it's not always truth. It could be conjecture, it could be speculation, it could be in your opinion, something like that. So you kind of give up the right to just blurb anything you want during a meeting. Oh, did I mention about meetings and being a professional meetinger? I think I did. Number five, paperwork is why leadership and being a leader can suck. Let's count the ways. And I get it, paperwork is often gone the way of the dodo bird, but let's use that in a virtual context. Hiring documentation, you have to do a job description, you have to figure out all maybe the interview guides that you have to review or that maybe you're even doing. To be a good leader, you have to support your team's career aspirations. So you have to do career development plans. You have to do performance reviews. You have to give performance feedback, purchase orders. Oh my goodness. You know, I got into leadership because I don't like the details. Honestly, big picture guy, right? So then a request comes in for purchase orders and you know maybe it's a couple hundred thousand dollars for cleaning services across different locations or sites. I look at that and I get it. I get it. There's accountability, there's checks and balances, but you know, I look at it sometimes and, and I'm like cleaning. Well, I like cleaning. Cleaning's good. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off on that. Adding that to the fact that there are experts in the organization and on the teams that have vetted all of these purchase orders before, but that's okay. That's okay. You'll pop into my email and I'll figure it out and I'll sign it off and I'll say, yeah, cleaning's good. I want a clean place. I want people to be clean. So I think that's a good idea. You know, just the fact that it tells you how much I like paperwork in that 
even for these videos, I just do bullet forms and a lot of it's straight from the hip, particularly on leadership and scripted. So that's where paperwork sits on my skill set and interest and desire. Number six of why leadership can suck. I alluded to it already. Performance management, performance management. I don't like being the heavy. I certainly dislike the process around it. And I find that a lot of times we take more time and effort to talk about the issue or, or the challenges when we all know what the answer is. Now, I'm not saying that you have to ignore that and there's due process, and all that other stuff, but let's face it, that stuff's hard, that stuff's exhausting, that takes a lot of time and energy. Number seven, decision making. One of the most important jobs that you have as a leader and the reason you're in that position is to make decisions. And a lot of times they're the more difficult decisions. They're the ones that kind of percolate up your way. And sometimes you have to make the unpopular decision. So at the end of the day, when you're in these meetings, remember number one, reason leadership sucks is professional meeting or the end of the day, am I alone in that? I'm done. I am so done. Decision fatigue is a thing. And, and I don't even, care. I literally don't care what we have for supper. I can't decide. We can do online. We can go out, whatever. I literally don't care because all day I've been making decisions. Number eight, conversations that are quote unquote difficult. Boy, oh boy. You know, when you're a frontline worker and you don't have direct reports and uh, you can push problems up instead of having to figure it out, conversations can be difficult and you can't procrastinate on them. And everyone's looking at you like, you gonna do anything about that? Like, that's uh, that's a problem. That's a problem, and you need to fix it. So you have to have those conversations for the good of yourself, the team, and the individuals. And you can't procrastinate on those. At least you shouldn't, anyways. Number nine, accountability. Wow. Here's the best part about being a leader. Sarcastically, you are accountable for not only your decisions and your actions, but those of your team. And that comes with the territory. And sometimes it's not even your issue or it's not your mistake, but you're going to take the hit for it. I remember being on a, on a call, 75 people, no word of a lie, 75 people on an MS team, Teams call. Big, big project. And somebody was absolutely going off on something that probably three levels below me uh, did or didn't do more specifically. And this individual was going to have like, he was out for war. He was upset and he was going to make sure that everybody knew. And he wanted to make sure that I felt the pain. And you know what I said? I apologize. That shouldn't have happened. Wah, wah. Wind out of his sails. That wasn't enough. He was still going on and on and on. And, you know, do I like that? Am I excited about that? Not at all. So there again, another reason that leadership can suck. Number 10, by the way, there's going to be a bonus one. And if you're getting value, even if you're not getting value, make sure you like, you subscribe and share this. <sighs> Budgets. I don't understand the whole budgeting process. Again, just like paperwork, I'm not a huge fan of that. I didn't go into finance for a reason. Like I'm not an accountant for a reason. I'm not teaching math for a reason. I don't like math. I don't like budgets. I don't like spreadsheets. It's not that I don't like them. Hell, I can play around with formulas all day long. Some bracket A2 colon A7. Mic drop, right? Close colon or you know, close the bracket there. Otherwise you're you're it won't work, as I know. So when it comes to budgets. They're difficult for me to do and approve. And, and thankfully, I've, I've worked with amazing people on projects and initiatives and in emergency operations center experts in, in finance, thank goodness. But a lot of times with budgeting, you don't even know. It's literally a wild ass guess. And the best part about it is if you don't use that money at the end of the year, you don't get that same money the year after, even though nobody in the system thinks that makes any sense at all. And uh, yeah, plus or minus 20%. I don't know. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Budgets. I said there was only 10, but I'm going to give another bonus. And 11. And that is ultimately like parenting. Leadership is inconvenience. Inconvenient. Ultimately, one of the reasons leadership and being a leader can suck is it's inconvenient. It's inconvenient. Let's face it. The time is not always your own if you want to be an effective leader. Boundaries are difficult. I remember there was a call, 11 p.m. at night, Friday night, 
long weekend, of course, working on a large project last year. There was a fire evacuation at a hotel in another part of the country, different time zone, all the rest of it, 11 p.m. And I think there were 34 of our of our workers that we had to support. Do you think I was excited about that? You think I was like, oh man, this is awesome. This is going to take a few hours to resolve. This is going to take a few hours to figure out where they're going. This is going to take a few hours to get full accountability. This is going to be a few hours of figuring out what we're going to do for the next day, so on and so on and so forth. Yeah, you do it because you're a professional and that's your obligation. And that's your responsibility and you're there to support. But I promise you, I was not super stoked about this. I would much rather be sleeping at that time. So there are 11 reasons that leadership can suck. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And remember, like, subscribe, share, all of the things.